Good morning. I'm here at the Lawn Lake Trailhead, located inside Rocky Mountain National Park. And it's a little windy today. And because of that, I'm probably not going to be able to do Mummy Mountain. And instead, I'm going to switch over to the Bee Hike, which is going to be the Fay Lakes. And I'm not really sure what the stats are. Official start time, 6.53. All right, guys. As you know, the world has been a pretty depressing place lately, but we're going to manifest some positive vibes today. I hope you enjoy the beautiful views and let's go do the hike. Ypsilon Mountain is looking awesome up there. And that's looking back in the opposite direction to Long's Peak. And in 40 minutes, I'm up here to the trail split and I'm gonna take the left. Crossing over the Roaring River and it's really not roaring too much anymore. It's kind of died down a little bit. This part's always fun. I'm going to count how many steps. 43, 44, 45, 46. But wait, there's more. Some of these trees are making noises that are slightly concerning. We finally got the sunshine. Other than it being a little windy, this is a beautiful day. I have finally gained the ridge up here and I'm gonna bounce it across the top and then on down to Ypsilon Lake. I'm hoping it's not going to be very windy down there. Yeah, this trail is no joke. This thing goes up the entire time. I am exactly two hours into the hike and I'm just below 10,700. So I'm getting real close to topping out up here. Yeah, this is kind of a tough trail back here. The grade on it is not very consistent. You just get these real steep sections and then it kind of flattens out for a second. Then you get some more real steep sections and it's pretty rocky through here too. I am almost up there. 10,750 is the high point. I think I'm pretty much up here. When you start getting these views of Fairchild Mountain, that means you're coming over the hill. Chipmunk Lake should be right up here to the right. All right, guys, it is 9.03. I've been hiking for two hours and 10 minutes. And I have made it up here to Chipmunk Lake. I'm not going to sit up here too long. Maybe take a quick little three minute break, eat some crackers, get a sip of water, and then I'm going to continue on down to Ypsilon Lake. We're dropping in on Ypsilon Lake. I'm going with the shoulder cam because I've got my heated gloves on and I can't operate the GoPro when I'm wearing them. All right, we've made it. Ypsilon Lake. Thank you. 
since I just took a nice break up at Chipmunk Lake, I'm just gonna keep on moving. And from that Ypsilon Lake sign, there's a trail that splits off to the right. And that is what I am on right now. I'm just gonna take it around Ypsilon Lake and see if I can find the social trail that goes up to Lower Fay Lake. Yeah, I've actually never walked over here before. People have told me that there's a social trail over here. I mean, I guess this is it. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Looks like I was off of it for a second. All right. Let's just keep working it around. So far, so good. I'm hoping we get a trail like this all the way up to the first lake. That would make things real nice. I'm doing a pretty good job staying on this faint little social trail back here, but it has just run in to this little water crossing and I'm afraid I'm gonna lose it on the other side now. Well, this might be it right here. Yep, I think I'm still looking good. And I think I have located it. Right, yep, I'm back on it. And this looks better than before. <laughs> All right. I've worked my way to the far side of Ypsilon Lake and I'm staying on the trail. And then right here at this big mass of down trees, it looks like there is a Karen and it looks like the trail kind of splits away from the water, which makes sense. I need to go this way. I believe I'm on the right path. Yeah, this little side trail back here is loaded with Karens. If you're not seeing Karens every like 10 feet, you're doing it wrong. And there's another one. Yeah, so far this isn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. I mean, it's a little bushwhacky back here but it's not too bad. And according to the GPS, it looks like from where I started at the far side of Ypsilon Lake, I'm about halfway up to the first Fay Lake. I can tell you what though, this is out of the wind. It's really nice. I'm telling you, these Cairns are making it easy. And without them, this would be really confusing back here. And there's the next one. It looks like I'm gonna have to pick my way through these rocks. That's not too bad. I think Lower Fay Lake 
is gonna be at the end of this straightaway right here. I am really close to it. I'm at least gonna get that one. I've made it up and over the hump and I am coming down the other side. And that really wasn't too bad. I'm telling you, all those Karens made that easy. Plus I have it routed on my GPS now, so I'm good to go. And we're up here. This is gonna be Lower Fay Lake. And I think I'm standing in a spot that was once underwater a few months ago because it's real soft. But yeah, that's it. Lower Fay Lake. And there are two more just up there. Well, let's keep it going. I'm working my way around the, I think this is the southwest side of Lower Fay Lake. I'm not even sure if this is the right way. I have lost the social trail. Yes, and I'm back on it. So that is the right way to go. I picked the trail up just after that field. Getting from Lower Fay Lake to Middle Fay Lake is definitely harder than getting from Ypsilon to Lower Fay Lake. I mean, the trail out here is super faint, if there's one at all, and there are no Karens. I'm having to figure this out, which is much more difficult. I'm a tenth of a mile away from Middle Fay Lake and I'm at least going to get that one too. I think I'm good if I just keep heading straight up right here. I got the water coming down to the right side of me. Huh. This is going uphill though. Well, I'm thinking about climbing up the waterfall. Yeah, let's go right up here. This looks fun. And I have made it above the waterfall. There's a broken down Karen right there. The next lake should be just up here. And we're up here. This is Middle Fay Lake. And I have been hiking for three hours and 40 minutes. It is a little windy up here, so I'm gonna keep the hike going and take it on up to the upper Fay Lake. And just by looking at the GPS, this looks like it's going to be the easiest one of all. This last Fay Lake 
looks like it's about three tenths of a mile from here. So hopefully that doesn't take very long. Look at that shot of Ypsilon Mountain. Wow. That thing is looking pretty big from down here. The final Fay Lake should be right there in front of me. I'm gonna get it. I am gonna get it. And in exactly four hours, I'm up here. This is Upper Fay Lake. Wow, this is a unique one. Pretty cool. Look at the color of that water. And this is going to be my spot right here. I'm going to take a nice long break. And wow, you could access the ridge right here. Just take it on up. I believe that is called the Blitzen Ridge. Leads on up to the summit of Ypsilon Mountain. Class three all day. This was a pretty hard hike, but I don't know if it was as hard as what I thought it was going to be. I don't know. That bushwhacking was a little nasty. Really the only difficult part was from the lower Fay Lake up to the middle Fay Lake. That was kind of nasty and I only saw like one Karen in between. This is my new spot. My old one was getting a little windy. Check it out. Thank you. 
Well guys, it is 12 o'clock and I've been sitting up here for over an hour. However, noon was the turnaround time, so it is time to go. It's time to head on back. All right, let's do it. I'm gonna have to bushwhack my way out of here. All right, I'm back in the pocket and this is a pretty easy part. You just take it straight down to Middle Fay Lake. It's right down there. I'm staying to the north side of the water. I think it's much easier over here. It looks easier. You can barely see a path just here to the north side of the water. I'm standing atop the waterfall, looking down onto the Lower Fay Lake, and this section of the hike is by far the worst. It gets a little nasty through there. I'm actually gonna veer off and see if there's another way down so I don't have to go down the waterfall. I mean, that was slightly sketchy and it seemed a little unnecessary. Yeah, I feel like this might be a little easier. I don't know. I'm not really sure. You might have to go up and down the waterfall. This might cliff out over here. Yeah, we're good. And I'm gonna jump back over across the water and to the other side, because we're below the real steep part of the waterfall now. I'm doing a good job staying on the trail. I did get a little cattywampus there for a minute, but I'm back on it. Cattywampus. We're almost back down to Lower Fay Lake. I'm through all the trees. Yeah. And then from there, back down to Ypsilon Lake is a pretty decent trail with about 82 Karens along it. All right. And I'm looking good. Made it back down to Lower Fay Lake. And now I just need to hike around the side of it here for a second. And the GPS came in very handy, especially in that last section. I mean, just a few key checks kept me on course. And I would have to say, the higher that you go, the more impressive that the Fay Lakes get. This lower one isn't too spectacular, but the top one is. 
in between Ypsilon Lake and Lower Fay Lake are two boulder field type sections where you have to pick your way around the rocks and those are by far the two most confusing sections. Just keep an eye peeled for the Karens. It is one o'clock on the nose and I am back down to Ypsilon Lake. So that only took me one hour to get back down here. <sighs> Made it back to the Ypsilon Lake sign. <sighs> and from here, I'm gonna have to ramp it back up to 10,750. Passing back by Chipmunk Lake, which means I only have a tiny bit more uphill to do. I think I have finally topped out. That is brutal on the way back. You're looking at a solid half mile, pretty much straight back up. That's looking up to Bighorn Mountain, and that's a pretty tough hike. Making pretty good time on the way down. I'm getting pretty close to dropping in on the Roaring River. Yeah, baby, Roaring River. We're getting there. Maybe a little over a half a mile back down to the Lawn Lake Trailhead. Almost done with this thing. I should be back down to the parking lot in about three minutes. It is just now 3.05, which means it took three hours and five minutes to come down. My GPS is showing that at 13.2 miles total. However, we'll just go with the mileage in the Rocky Mountain National Park book. So yeah, Four hours to get up, three hours and five minutes to get down. But I hope you guys enjoyed that hike. And until the next one, y'all, peace.